Hey my village, it's your coach Mo back with a new video. Today's topic is the four C's in business. So we're gonna talk about four important things in business that you cannot ignore. <laughs> and it's gonna help you gain clients, things like that. So I just wanted to help a few of you because you guys know I'm a parenting and business coach. So I mix it up with the videos every once in a while to give you guys some diversity of both. So um, the first C is clarity. So when I say clarity, you have to have clarity in who your ideal client is. You cannot do anything in business if you don't know who you're working for, who do you serve. So you have to know who you serve, uh, what they want, like your avatar. People call it avatar, I call it your ideal client. So um, there's no way you can create content products or services if you don't know who you're selling to. <laughs> so you can't, everybody's not your ideal client. Let's make that clear, number one. Everybody is not your ideal client. So before or when you first start your business or you're thinking of starting a business, gain detailed clarity on who your ideal client is. Like me, my ideal clients are parents. Um, they're entrepreneur parents. They're tired of working a nine to five. They want to be full-time entrepreneurs and leave their job. Um, they wanna be the best parents, so they still wanna be able to have a business and have a life at the same time. Master time management, work-life balance. Um, they struggle with parent guilt because of being an entrepreneur. You're spending a lot of time working and you don't have a lot of time to spend with your kids, so it causes them to have parent guilt. Um, I know my ideal client because it used to be me. <laughs> so my ideal client wants to co-parent, coexist. So they want the best of both worlds to be an amazing parent and amazing business owner as well and build a legacy for their kids. So that's what I help my ideal clients do. The second C is create. You have to be creative. So once you know who your ideal client is, then you're able to create your signature program, product, or service. Um, because it's clear on who you serve. Like me, I have multiple um, programs and services and products because I know these are the things that my ideal client want. My ideal client, um, like one of my programs, co-parent like a boss. They Sometimes they don't work out and you don't stay together or sometimes you're never together, like me and my son, dad. We were never together, but we had to coexist and co-parent to be successful for our child. So I have a program that help parents be able to coexist in their child's life and learn how to co-parent successfully. Because going to court don't work. Um, a lot of times when you go to court, they don't teach you how to be a parent and coexist. They teach you how to be a single parent. So going to court and things like that, you can't always depend on them teaching you how to communicate. They don't teach you how to heal, none of that. So I know my ideal client is in need of someone helping them be able to coexist and do it the right way. Um, also, my ideal client are like a lot of single moms. So I have a program called I Am My Sister's Keeper where I help those moms who got lost in the title of being a mom and a wife get back to who they are. Um, I also know that those parents struggle with disciplining their kids, so I have five easy ways to change your child's behavior. That was like one of my first products and first ebooks before I started any programs was helping parents with child behavior because they didn't know how to discipline their kids or disciplining them the way they were taught with the generational curse because I helped them <laughs> break generational curses. Uh, it wasn't working. It don't work on these new generation kids. Sometimes you gotta take a different uh, route and different strategies to help with disciplining these new generation kids. Um, the third C is content. So once we have a signature product um, or service, you are able to build content for social media, marketing, ads, advertising, whatever you want. So. Um, what I like to do to help with building content is take those different things and break it down from your programs and services. So say for instance, my co-parenting program. We talk about communication, we talk about parenting styles. So I'll break content down talking about each parenting style. There's four different parenting styles. 
I'll talk about different type of communication, how some parents don't need to ever take calls. I mean, to never text or email each other because it always get misinterpreted. So I'll talk about ways they could communicate instead by phone only or in person when it comes to important matters, things like that. So I'll break down different sections of my program or service or my product, like my icebreaker cards. They're cards that help parents get to know their kids and kids get to know the parents because how much do you really know about your kids <laughs> besides there when they was a kid and stuff like that sometimes they change when they get older you don't know their favorite color character stuff like that and it's good stuff to know especially around christmas because you don't know what to buy these kids nowadays because <laughs> they have everything a lot of them are spoiled if they're like my kid they have everything um also like the parents kids don't know their parents they just know that that's mom and dad they don't know how you met they don't know what your life dream used to be what you aspire to be when you were younger because sometimes you give it up when you become a parent um, they need to know these things. I ask in my icebreaker cards um, those difficult questions for the teen edition for about sexuality, same sex, and if they understand those things um, about being touched inappropriately, drugs, um, experimenting, <laughs> like if they like boys or girls or the same sex. So you got to know those things and it's just an easy way to ease in that conversation. Um, when it comes to talking to kids. So your content is speaking about your programs because when you're building content, I like to theme the month or the week. Um, one month can be focusing on child behavior. So that whole month I'll be talking about child behavior and my ebook and the different steps that I have on discipline and things like that. But you have to use, cause you at least once or, uh, I post, try to post like four times a day. Uh, one out of those four posts, like every other day, should be you offering something. Um, one of your services, a product, um, a breakthrough call, or discovery call, sales call, whatever you call it. But you do have to include your products and services in your content. Otherwise, who gonna know what you're selling? Who, you're speaking to your ideal client, you want to seek them and you want them to be drawn to your page why not talk about it like I do stuff like sis you're gonna be okay like I'll post something like that you got this sis. like something motivational or stop blaming your parents for everything at some point you got to take accountability I know <laughs> a lot of people that suffer from generational curses and they're like well I'm this way because my mom and be like how long are you gonna blame your mom so it draw those people sometimes they need to hear it and then I get a lot of messages be like oh my gosh you're talking to me or I needed to hear that or I'll say like um, you can't co-parent because you want to control everything they'd be like oh my gosh like you made me realize I am that person you're talking about so they don't know who you're talking about if you don't put it in your content but you want to speak to your person like you're speaking to them in person um, a lot I know a lot of women are my ideal client so usually but more men reach out to me more than anything, but I'll talk to the men too. I'll be like, don't you wanna be involved in your child's life? Aren't you tired of your baby mama having drama and y'all arguing? Don't you wanna see your kid? Like I'm talking as though I'm talking to my ideal client and that's why it draws them to me. So that's what you have to do when it comes to content. So the last and final C is close. You have to close the deal. <laughs> so after you don't know who you're talking to, you don't build products, services, and you're building content to draw them to you. Now what do you do? You don't just sit them and leave them hanging. You have to offer a call of action. So now that you know who you're marketing to and you want to offer something and you're letting people know what products and services you have, you do a call to action and that's like usually your sales call, breakthrough call, click my website, click book in the profile, click this, or here's a freebie to get them on your email list so that later on you can blast your email list with, oh, I'm booking for this, I'm taking in new clients. Let people know you're open for new clients because sometimes I'll be like, okay, I, I open for five more clients this month um, because I only do five clients per month. But when I'm cycling out other clients and I got another set of clients, you can have clients on the waiting list. But you have to learn how to close the deal. So that's when you would put together a few questions that you would ask when someone do book a sales call. Like I get a few, about two or three sales calls booked a week. Um, then we talk to them about 
products and services. But what I like to do is be clear on who need to book a call. So I'll put content about breakthrough calls. I call my 30 minute free calls breakthrough calls. Because usually dealing with parents, there's always a breakthrough. They're always crying. <laughs> um, very like few times I experienced someone not cry on a breakthrough call. But when you're asking them those serious deep questions to be able to identify what program or service that you offer is best fit for them, um, usually I let people know, do not book a call if you're not ready to say yes. If you haven't done your research on me, you haven't, I ask them like, how did you hear about me? What made you schedule your breakthrough call? Questions like that. Um, because you don't want to be booking all these calls and getting all these no's from people that wouldn't, didn't have any intention or don't have any money to pay for your service, but they just want to talk to you, get like free help. You want to make it clear, like, do not book a call until you're ready to work for me, work with me. So that's what I started doing and it eliminated the people that was just seeking, oh, I'm get three, 30 minute free session because that's not what it is. And I make sure I let them know what a breakthrough call is not. And I tell them it's not a free session. It's for those who's ready to make a change, ready to invest in their future and get help and start now. Not a month from now, not two months from now. They're ready now. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope the four C's in business were very helpful to you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what type of topics you want to hear from me. Um, until next time, Coach Mo out.